What's going on guys and girls, my name is Suki and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. Now in today's video I will be comparing the 9.7 inch iPad Pro to the likes of the iPad Air 2. Now we'll be conducting a load of benchmark tests as well as a 4K and 1080p render test on the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. Now in the interest of saving time, I have compiled an entire table full of the results between all the tests I've conducted. And at the end of this video, you will find all the tests in case you just wanted to go over them and double check the results for yourself. And as you can see in almost every single test, the iPad Pro completely demolishes the iPad Air 2. So it's a hands down winner in my eyes. The first test that I did conduct was a Geekbench test. Now Geekbench test the performance on the processor, both the single core and the multi-core, and then gives us a score based on how fast the device performed certain tasks. Now the next test that I did conduct was a speed test to test both the download and upload speeds on these iPads. Now they use near enough the same technology in terms of their Wi-Fi performance. So the results as you see are pretty much the same. Now the next tests that I did conduct were from GFX and I tested both the OpenGL scores as well as the Metal scores. Now as you can see again, the iPad Pro does come out on top when compared to the iPad Air 2. Now GFX Bench does test out the graphics performance on these devices. So what you're seeing is essentially a frames per second score average. And now this is an average on both high intensive and low intensity tests. Now the next test that I did go out and conduct was Icebench. Now the specific program that I did run was Slingshot. Now Slingshot, just like GFX Bench, does test out the graphical performance on the device. Now it gave the higher score yet again to the iPad Pro. And the last test that I did conduct was an Antutu benchmark test. Now this test the processor, the RAM speeds, as well as the memory speeds, and a whole load of other aspects of the device, and gives us a score based on those performance. Now again, same story as you saw before, the iPad Pro comes out on top. Now just in case you was wondering, you can export a 4K file from iMovie on the iPad Pro, now for a video clip lasting around 5 minutes, it did take around 6 minutes and 20 seconds to export, but when rendering the same file in 1080p HD, it only took around 1 minute 40. Now guys, that will be all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then do please leave a thumbs up rating, subscribe if you're new around here. Now of course, as I said earlier, I will have the entire test at the end of this video so you can go check them out. Now we'll have the review coming for this 9.7 inch iPad very soon. Now on the left hand side, you can go and watch my 2016 12 inch Retina MacBook review. And over on the right hand side, you can go and check out my 12.9 inch iPad Pro review. That's been all for today then guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.